now your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Kaijuzilla 621. GG. Shut up. Well, welcome to the fourth annual Godzilla fan film contest. You'll be pleased to know that this is the last time I'll be hosting these awards. You know, after the murder of NDK Films, my trial is in about uh, one hour, so... Hey, hey, he deserved it. He disobeyed the rules, he's out of line. He was just out of line. Right, NDK? So, we got a clean show for you tonight. Fucking yeah. I'm your host, KaijuZilla621. Well, you all look lovely tonight. I see you're all dressed up and dolled up. Uh, Richard over there. Oh, look at you, you're making moves. Yeah, that ARG, that sure as hell was a good move. What do you say? Hey, oh, you like to forget you were in it too, huh? Huh? Yeah, you! I'm talking about you! Uh oh, uh oh. Look at you, look at you, too. You think you're better than me? Huh? Come on! Come on, man! I'm right here! I'm right here! Come on! Come on! Oh, you are so lucky! You are so lucky! Speaking of moves tonight, I, I gotta give a round of applause. Lewis, you're engaged. Let's give a, let's give a round of applause for you. Come on, come on. Engaged, sir. What happened, man? You good? I mean, we appreciate you're the vice president of the Godzilla community, but for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll put you on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we actually got a call from a fan, uh, from you, Gabe, sir, uh, from Dallas, Texas. Uh, let's put him on. Uh, let's roll the clip. Yeah. Hello. I'm calling to tell you that someone's sending this to you because they've noticed that you're kind of a mean motherfucker. And you're trying to hide it. You're trying to medicate your assholeness. You're trying to put it here, put it there. You're not accepting it. It's not going to go away. It's the way it is. And you know what? People like assholes sometimes. Except people that are in denial kind of suck. You're an asshole, okay? So check it out. Accept it, embrace your meanness, and deal with it. You need a hair tie? Uh, Carl, give me that. But with all the fan films piling up from last year, we cannot forget the integral part that makes these fan films worthwhile. The reactions. I mean, let's face it, none of what we do truly matters unless we force feed our friends with requests to react. I mean, Cam, sir, uh, here's a reaction of Alex the Kaiju Fana reacting to your latest picture. Wow, that was pretty amazing. Starting with three honorable mentions, I'd first like to congratulate Catzilla. Godzilla 2054, it's feature length and it's got some hot lighting. I mean, look at this. This lighting is beautiful. This is probably my favorite, most, this is the most well lit movie of last year. You've really got an eye out for color palettes. This is the kind of lighting I wish I could achieve. But another thing I gotta congratulate you on is the soundtrack. These are some of my favorite songs, you know, from Ava, from Godzilla. 1984. I've heard some good ones in here and with that lighting I think it, you really put something together. It's very consistent. For critiques I could say maybe I spend a little more time with the stop motion making it look a little more fluid like. And another one is pacing because you know you do got a lot of monsters for an hour and three minutes so I'd say you know for their roars maybe they're speaking to each other because since they're not speaking it can drag here and there so maybe next time it's an all-out monster brawl like this maybe put a few subtitles in there so there's something more to look at than uh, the fighting. The New Flame Films, uh, they made a Godzilla a Monster Apocalypse Gorat. Uh, this is an SFM. And with SFMs like, like this, you know, I gotta, I gotta put it up there because I could imagine how much time it takes to animate some of these things. Pretty daring, I must say. I, I never want to dip into those kind of things for uh, filmmaking. But the SFMs here are, are clean enough. I mean... I'd say maybe have some of the characters be a bit more consistent looking. I mean, you got 
You got Irish from Battlefield 4 with some anime character I'm not familiar with. I'm not sure how you were able to afford Tommy Wiseau, but I gotta congratulate you on that. We'll be here tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Besides trying to catch up with some of the story, the human characters is definitely is focused more on the people. Um, I did like Godzilla's look in this, the Godzilla Earth, the way it was glowing, almost like an unleashed version of Godzilla from the uh, anime movie. Good job, New Flame Films. Finally, on the honorable mentions, I'd like to congratulate Sam called Sam. He made Ultraman Power to Episode 3. From what I can just see from Sam, it's just that there's been overall improvement from his last submission with Titanosaurus versus I don't know who. You can definitely tell that the effects, you know, the inclusion of human characters here, you know, him filming with his friends, there's definitely improvement. So there's this gradual, you know, acceleration and, you know, honing your craft here, man. So. Oh God! For improvements, I could say, you know, tune up the lighting a bit. It's a little too dark for indoor sets, but other than that, you know, you're, you're getting there with your sets. Moving up from towels, that's always a good start. Hey, look at that. Looks like they improved our lighting budget. Now that we're into... Oh. And now that hey, we're Raph. into... Now we're Shut into up, the... Raph. Now we're into the interview. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'd like to announce uh, some okay. of the honor... I should have won last year. Well, this no, is a contest I should have won. rules yep. and, and locations. NDK, I'm glad what I'm glad of what you did with NDK. I've run out of patience. Oh, well, why don't we just take three steps back? No, not this one. He's been taken care of already. Get off me! Get off me! Yeah, yeah, and don't come back. Number four. Yes, I could not resist putting another one. You know, like I always do, I change these things up. But number four goes to Studio Resurgence. They made an uh, animation called Mothra vs. Gigan. I've never seen a submission like this, the sort of animation uh, this person was able to do. Um, but I will admit, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Especially this shot of Gigan falling. This looks great. It's got a style to it. That's what I like about this is that away from figures, away from SFMs, this person did animation and they got, a, they got a style and I really appreciate that. I don't understand why people took this so seriously. You haven't seen Mothra with a face? You gotta be kidding me. I will admit, I don't know if it was in your intention a lot, but I laughed a lot during this one and that shouldn't be a bad thing. And it seems like from this fall, Gigan was sent to just some new hellish dimension where Mothra has a face. And then she gets punched by the master hand. <laughs> but that is why Studio Resurgence, you did a damn good job with this animation. And I don't want to see that face in my dream, so... Screw you. Lacronimus for Rise of Godzilla. Beyond the good sets, beyond the good action, there is one specific reason why this film is number three. And that is the final scene with Godzilla. It tells a story there. Godzilla grows angry and you, with the editing you keep flipping back to old footage of what I assume is the bomb of uh, Bikini Atoll. And from there on Godzilla releases his rage. Like it remembers. It remembers why it's doing this and why it needs to do this. And I think with, with what I hope that is what you're saying or maybe I interpret it differently no matter what you're attempting to tell something here and it gives character to Godzilla and that is what I really appreciate. You gave character to the monsters with simple editing of throwing, you know, stock footage of, you know, the, the atomic bombs. You don't shy away from the gore. I love that part where GMK's head got ripped off. That was pretty great. <laughs> And that's the thing people keep forgetting sometimes, is sometimes you don't need humans to tell, uh, you know, to give Godzilla character. It could be just a monster sitting there when simple editing like this, you're giving something to Godzilla. You're giving something behind this 
big monster just destroying stuff. You're giving a meaning behind it. And I think that's what we're missing these days. And I hope some of you guys can take notes from this. I mean, for criticisms, I guess biggest things are, uh, you know, getting better effects. I suggest uh, Footage Crate. They got a wide variety of uh, great stuff if you make a, a, an account, uh, not a pro account. I don't, I don't know what it is. You can get about five effects a day or something like that. And they got some pretty good stuff. So I recommend you go there uh, for effects next time, Laquanimous. Number two actually goes to a buddy of mine, uh, Campster Rook, for uh, Godzilla Hours of Fallout. What I like about this one is it's just steady decline. That's what it is. It's just military using their resources and it gets worse, the situation gets worse. There's no salvation, there's no some Mecha Godzilla saving the day. I gotta really give it to Cam for the visual effects for this movie. I think that's where he should really put his mind on for the future. You know, I think I could see definitely talent growing there. For Christ, this kid is like five, and he's already moving up there than, you know, most people I know for that age. Five. And I think what he's also good at is the subversion of expectation. You see Gundam, this is one of their last resorts, and you expect there to be this big monster battle. But no, Godzilla just shoots and kills it right there and then. I like that, because you made me think, oh, you had me camster, and now you're gonna throw in this monster battle that totally goes against the tone you've, add, you've, you've added up throughout this movie. It did that, it did not do that. That was the moment where I'm like, this is something else. I think what this movie could have done better at is, uh, you know, adding a bit of some human perspective to all this, because you showed the weaponry not work, and then with that, you already had the dread there, but I think with an added sense of, uh, you know, an emotional perspective to seeing their weaponry not work, seeing Gundam not work, I think that would have added, you know, more layers onto this film. Go subscribe to Campster Rook. Get him to 666 subscribers. Why should we reward people reading out some IGN article of Godzilla vs. Kong and get hundreds of thousands of views off that when there's people like Campster Rook here who are trying to tell a story, something different with Godzilla. And I really think these are the people who deserve more of the spotlight now. So please go subscribe to Campster Rook, Sam, the, Sam Called Sam, Studio Resurgence, Lacronimus, uh, New Flame Films, Catzilla. They are all in the description. Please go subscribe to them. Now, ladies and gents, now on to our final award, the best picture. Now let's read the nominees out. The nominees are... Richard Manzo for Arby's Boy. No, no, the, the kids are fine, you know? I mean, he lived on just the other side of town. I couldn't say no, he was so close. Alex the Kaiju fan for Godzilla Godslayer. No! If you truly knew about it, then you understand why it must never, ever be used! Now you just leave, please. Kaijutopia for Godzilla Zeton and Gamera Giant Monster Brawl. Find out who this year's winner, Kaiju Oscars 2021, the best Godzilla fan film of 2020. Oh, he did it. Alex, a Kaiju fan. What a gentleman. Real quick, before we get on to Alex the Kaiju fan, he did give the award to Kaiju Topia, as you did see. So I need to talk about his uh, stuff real quick. Godzilla, Zeton, and Gamma Giant Monster Brawl. This is, this is one of the 
best looking vis these are some of the best looking visual effects I've ever seen for a Godzilla fan film. This is beautiful. Everything blends together so well. The compositing of it, the lighting. I think my favorite part is the texture of it. It's there's a lot of haze, there's a lot of god rays. Kaijutopia is a rising name, and I hope that people know him more uh, after this, uh, you know, contest goes up. Th this stuff is beautiful. There's, you know, a team up of a uh, team up of Godzilla and Gamera against Zeton. There's there, there's right there. Like I said about the monster stuff, the monster perspective. They are working together. It's about how they fight that brings character to them. That is years of, of, of work right there, just getting to that point. Now I'm not talking about this, I'm saying like, ever since this person started out doing this, you could see that there's clearly a story behind how good this editing is. I guess showing you that speaks for itself. Good job Kaijutopia. Alex the Kaiju fan has won this year's contest for Godzilla God Slayer. Now there is a reason, it's an easy reason why this film won, it's because of the story you know, something beyond these figures just fighting in a nice set. There, there is a human story here, and that is with Serizawa. It's a sort of retelling of 54, but my god, does this cast look believable. They look believable. Serizawa looks like he's in his early 30s. I buy that. And these are just his friends in college. These are, you know, people Alex just knows around, and, you know, some of them aren't even in acting classes. I've spoken to him about it, and there is something... There is something that maybe a lot of you people don't understand that comes to directing a production like this. You know, no matter, you know, it doesn't matter how many lights or equipment you got. There, he directed these actors. They had to all agree on some day to all show up at the boardwalk, to show up at somebody's house and get together and go through these scenes. Regardless, I have something to show you. Now listen to me. I have something to show you, but you need to promise me. Promise me that it will not leave this room. This stays between the two of us. Do you understand? Yes, I won't tell anyone. It's more about the effort of directing, uh, directing these people together into into these sequences when they're talking about, you know, Serizawa, you know, think, questioning himself. Should I let this be a, a weapon used by other countries and it could progress the world war? The Americans have already reached out to me. They claim to have benign intentions with my research, but I know. I know all they want is an edge on the Soviets. I can't allow another world war to happen. I'm not as a scientist, and certainly not as a member of the human race. It goes against everything I stand for. This goes beyond the world war. This monster exists among us, one far more older than the human race. This monster was brought about by the hydrogen bomb, don't you remember that? It's a tragedy. No matter you know what Serizawa does, whether he uses the oxygen destroyer, Godzilla will continue to live. And God, look at the wardrobe. This, this is this is expertise wardrobe. If you, if this was black and white, I would buy even more that these houses look like they're from the 50s. The location scouting with them in front of the boardwalk. These are exotic looking locations. And I've known Alex is a sort of a photographer. I've been seeing these pictures on Instagram. I could see those shots in here. This shot, this is my favorite shot of last year in terms of Godzilla fan films. The slight tilt with the Dutch angle, you know, gives it the sinister feeling behind what's going on behind these characters' minds. It lets you think there is something going on there and it ain't good. I don't see any reason to worry about it. But it's out there. Well, you know, we could always just leave Japan right now. But I do think you should tell the doctor first. Do you think I should tell him that I'm not marrying him? Maybe, yeah, get a microphone next time, but it almost just feels like you turn on the camera and just film these people talking about a topic you told them to talk about. A lot of it doesn't feel forced most of the time. It feels very natural. Ending, you could tell with the pandemic hitting, uh, since this was a, this movie was made last year, uh, a few months before it hit, they ran into the pandemic and that really cut off a sort of more well-defined ending. They just ended it with a uh, voiceover. Uh, talking about just the downfall of Serizawa, but maybe seeing it happen uh, could have helped this movie. But aside from that, you know, you got a cast, you got a good wardrobe, I'd buy it. You're not watching this film for the Godzilla scenes. 
they can be a little lackluster sometimes seeing the pack of destruction stuff but you're here for the people if you click on this you're gonna see these characters interact and have conflict with each other you know that's the basis of of any kind of film you know the, the conflict between these characters is palpable I can feel it this this film clearly marked off on all the things I wanted uh, you know I listed in the rules this is the exact kind of Godzilla fan film I was looking for and it'll be the same kind of Godzilla fan film I'll be looking for for this year, for next year's competition. Get some friends together. Make a Godzilla fan film with all your friends. Have them act in it. Try to stop relying on these, you know, figures. That's more of what I'll be looking for. If you want to make filmmakers, the usual kind of fan film does not include, you know, human toy figures made of plastic. It includes real people. Something like this marks all the, the right requirements for a film. Something you're going to get with this fan film that you're not going to get with the toy figure movies is emotion from these people. It's not a still face the whole time, you know, you, with, with, with the right script, with the right kind of conflict, it's a very emo you're going to get a very emotional take on, on any, you know, Godzilla property or Kaiju property, whatever it is. Write up a script, you know, get a writer duet, that's what I use, um, and just, you know, write some scripts on there, you know, write some treatments, you know, some rough drafts, just get out of Google Doc and then transport that to a writer duet, you know, it's, format, it's formatted scripts, um, and write something out, you, you get some people together, find a location, a park, your houses, you know, boardwalks, and, and film it, do that, because what you are going to get out of it is experience, a collaboration of a lot of people, but that is it for this competition, uh, I've really enjoyed all these fan films, there's a lot and you know, same rules, like I said, same rules of this year. Thank you guys for submitting uh, this, this stuff in the competition. I uh, hope I wasn't too late with, with the whole, you know, setup and, and announcing the winners. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, let's switch it over to this guy. He's dead. That's it. Thank you. They're kicking me out the door. They're kicking me out the door. And thank you to God for making me an atheist.